Hey everybody, Glenn here. Brief discussion on palm mute and release. So you kind of know what palm muting is because you use your palm against the bridge of the strings to mute the notes, but not so that they're, you can't tell what the note is, right? So it should sound something like. Billy Gibbons of ZZ Top's probably uh, the greatest example of using some palm muting. There's a million other guys too, but if you think of uh, something like cheap sunglasses, right? Now there's another discussion of how he actually does that. He actually does double drop D where he drops the E string down to a D and gets that. It's, it's a unique sound, but um, I didn't tune to that. But let's talk about some phrasing and how you can palm mute and then release to get a note that will actually sustain. So if I play like a line like... Basically, I'm bending up on the 4th fret 3rd string, going down to the 2nd fret 3rd string, 4th fret 4th string, F sharp, down to the E on the 2nd fret 4th string, and then let that ring take your hand away. So be... So you can pick and choose the notes you want. But typically, you're going to release the note to sustain as the last note in any phrase that you have. So... So that's it. Palm, mute, and release. It's kind of a cool effect. Give it a try. Experiment. Practice with it. You can even include some pinch harmonics in it if you, you know. On the last note, you can do a little pinch harmonic. So give it a try. This is Glenn. Have a great day, and God bless y'all.